Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a test of uh, yet another single 3500Z mountaintop electronics. Um, boxes are the same as always. Um, a couple slight differences with this one is just that um, it has dual fans. Um, internal, nice and sleek. Power connection, ground, circuit breaker, in and out. Pretty standard stuff. Um, that's it. Sorry, vents are on the side here. Um, it's got a tuned input. It's a fixed tuned input. It'll cover the whole band. Plate voltage meter, plate current meter, on off, AM sideband, and standby switch. And this is a red green transmit receive indicator. Plate tune, load. Test setup today is slightly different. Um, <clears throat> it's the same driver and radio that I always use. Uh, nothing different there. But instead of yelling Claudio into the microphone, um, I do have this audio uh, generator that I, I have plumbed into the radio. Just so you don't have to hear me yelling audio. It just puts a one kilohertz tone um, through the mic input. And it just keys up with this switch over here. So it just makes life a little, I don't know, quieter on the video. That's all. So we're going to be looking at this Bird 43 peak reading meter. This is going to be the driver, so you're going to get to see two meters in action. We've got a 250 watt slug on peak, so you're going to be looking at the top scale. So that line is 25, it's 50, that's 100, 150, etc. And over here, same thing, we've got a 2500 watt slug. And we're going to be in peak, and we're going to be looking at the top scale. So 250, 500, 1000, 1500. Real quick before we get started, I'm just going to pop the camera into the tripod here. Um, I get questions about drive, even though I cover it in the videos, and I talk about it in the videos. I, I still don't understand why I get so many questions about it, but uh, the long and short of it is, you know, these tubes are... 3500Zs, right, and they are meant to do about a thousand watts a piece. If you make them do more than that with more drive, that's your business. But you don't need to run these things balls to the wall like a drag race every time you key the box. So a single 500Z, you're running at a thousand watts. 1100 watts in that neighborhood, something like that, it's going to last you forever. Um, if you want to run it at 1300 or if you want to run it at 1700, that's up to you. Um, the box is capable of doing it, you know, but you got to start thinking in terms of, you know, how much is it going to cost me every time I key this box to run it? Um, just, just some food for thought. Um, you run them however you want, but I'll show you guys a lower drive situation and I'll show you guys a higher drive situation, okay? So let's set the drive. We are looking at, let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh, yes I can. Uh, so this is a 250 watt slug and we're right in the middle of the band and I wanna see like 100 to 130 watts, something like that. Oh, whoops. So we're sending a tone. Let's uh, back the drive down. We're at a little too high. That's 100 watts of drive. Well, let's just start right there. That's 100 watts, right? So that's 100 watts of drive. Let's see what 100 watts gives us on the 2500 watt slug. All right, so let's put the box on. It has a step start. Just back this up. Okay, we're idling around, I don't know, 3100 volts. Put the box into transmit. Sorry, the tripod's getting in the way here. And the box has already been tuned and loaded. And let's pop the tone on at 100 watts PDP. And the amplifier is giving us 1300 watts. And that's what a tone. We got 100 watts of drive, PEP, and we're getting 1300 watts out, and we're pulling, what are we pulling for play current? 
I don't know, 300. Okay, now let's increase our drive to where we see 130 watts. And right around 130 watts, 125 watts, something like that, we're seeing 1500 watts. If we go a little higher, 150, we're seeing 1700 watts. So, you know, I can't be any more clear than that, guys. That's, um, the box is capable of it, you know, but it's about how you want to run it. Let's take a look at the plate current when we do that again. Now that's at 1700 watts PEP out, 150 in, and we're at 400 milliamps of uh, plate current. So, I think that's better than me yelling Claudio, all right? It's a quiet box, even with the dual fans. Heat's not even coming out of it yet. should be able to see the uh, transmit receive indicator change. It's kind of cool. So that's 1700 PEP with 150 in. Let's add a little more drive. Uh, just a hair over 150 in. That's 1700 out. Now, what I'd like to try is actually lowering the drive all the way down. Let's see, uh, see if we can put like 80 watts into it to simulate like a striker or something. Let's see here. Let's zoom back in there. Okay. So that's, well, that's 75 watts. 75 watts in is giving us 1,000 PEP out. If you ran the box like that, this box would run forever. And 75 watts is attainable nowadays. You don't even need drivers nowadays, right? Everybody has a striker or whatever, or a president that does 50 or 75 watts, you know? I mean, that would be really cool. If you just had a nice 75 watt radio, 80 watt radio, run into this box, get your thousand watts, easy breezy, you know? But there you go, guys. Let's add a little more dry. So I'll just check the drive before I key up here. It's 150. Let's back that down again. Uh, 140 watts PEP. 100, what is it? 125 watts PEP. Boxing this transmit again. 125 gives us a little over 15 out. 1500. Nothing wrong with that. I think we're, I'm gonna take it off the carrier today. Audio you for a second. See what a dead key gives us. That's the only downside with that thing. I can't uh, turn off the audio. But th I think I'm doing a, yeah, 300 watt carrier. Audio. Audio one 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 audio. So there you go, guys. Mountaintop Electronics single three five hundred Z. Thanks for watching.